good now. I sure do hope and pray, even though I'm not a man of prayer, that You, and you alone, not anyone else, just you, are faring splendastically on this most glorious now. Welcome to the third edition of Guessing Random Things About Just a moment about this earlier. Just do it twice. Come on. Uh, remember, I'm going to give you a dollar. Okay. About in the middle, in the middle, we'll stop. You. Okay, that's enough. Come on, you're embarrassing me. Sorry, technical difficulties about you and only you, no one else. Okay, now before we embark on this wonderful journey of ours, might I interest you in a Tree twig. Yes? Excellent. Just a moment. You know what? You can help yourself. Here you go. Okay. Great. Looks like you picked out a nice little twig there for yourself. good enough. Okay then, my friend, if I might call you that, I hope you are good and comfortable. Let us begin, shall we? Does not comment on 
videos very often, if at all. Is that correct? Okay. Let me guess. When it comes to the FBI's most wanted list, or Interpol, Interpol, KGB, you are not on their list. Just a moment. It's okay. There's a lot of tin foil around here that NWO can't, won't be able to, you know, know what's going on. All right, so that's correct. Okay. Just so you know, those two questions were the only ones that I prepared. I have not reviewed the previous two guessing random things about you videos uh, and their questions. So I'm going to do my best to avoid asking you the same question twice, okay? All right, let me guess. You enjoy the sounds of keyboard typing. Is that correct? It is very good. Okay. Hmm. Let me guess. I know. You are wondering why there is an exclamation point among all of the question marks. Is that correct? Okay. You are wondering exclamation point However, 
Let me turn that question back to you. Let me guess. You believe that the exclamation point is there because you think there might be a statement made in this video. Just a moment. Which will be so important and so emphatic that it will require an exclamation point at the end of the sentence rather than a period or a question mark. Is that correct? See. Okay. Let me guess. matches the color of your window shades or wallpaper. Is that correct? Hmm, I see. color of your shirt or top or dress matches the color of your shade or wallpaper and you said that was incorrect, correct? Okay. Well, I can't guess all of them correctly, I guess. All right, next question. Hmm. Let me guess. There is a tattoo that starts from the corner of your corner of your left eye, the crunkle little, small, little, meaty part in the corner of your eye. Tattoo starts from the corner of your left eye, the caruncle. Comes down under your eye, down your cheek, over to your nose, over the bridge of your nose, to your right cheek, goes back, behind your ear, your right ear, comes down under, looping around it, down your jawline, just a little bit, 
and then down your neck, across your neck, and then there's a little spiral, which would be on the, comes down across your neck, spirals on the left side of your neck, and then works its way down your left shoulder, down your arm, wrapping itself around your arm the entire way, and then comes to the top of your forearm, and then spreads out to all of your fingers, and then, and here's the pretty cool part, as the tattoo reaches the tips of your fingers, because they can't tattoo your fingernails, it wraps around your fingertips on each side of your fingernails, and then passes underneath your hands, continues back the way it came, but underneath your forearm this time, works its way back, spirals back up your arm in the opposite direction with different colors this time, so you know the one uh, spiral is in one color as it comes down your arm to your fingertips, but underneath your hand and back up your arm is a different color works its way across your, uh, what is this, the, uh, the upper chest, works its way across to the other arm, but it does not spiral down your arm this time, as one might guess. It works its way toward your back, and as it reaches your back, there is this spectacular display of the most obscure art, shapes, figures, and structures. It's like H.P. Lovecraft meets Salvador Dali. And, and you, you can make some of the shapes out, but at the same time you can't. Something that looks like a human figure also ends up looking like a tree. So it's that kind of optical illusion stuff going on on your back. But the tattoo doesn't end there. It begins to work down around your waist, down your hips, and then down your legs, both of them, and the, the way the tattoo continues down each leg is perfectly symmetrical. Spirals, jagged, triangular shapes, and all the way down your calves spreading out to your feet and your toes and mimicking the same pattern that was on your hands. Now underneath your feet, back up the back of your legs to meet the back of the bottom of that portrait on your back. And that's that's the tattoo in its entirety, and the tattoo that you have. Is that correct? It's not? Are you, come on. I'm pretty sure that's the exact tattoo. I mean, I might have left off a couple of shapes here and there, but not, you're serious. 
I could have sworn that was the tattoo that you had. I mean, I know I might get a couple of these insignificant questions, you know, guesses about you wrong, but not that tattoo. Not something like that. I'm dead wrong. Okay, well, why don't you just roll up your sleeves? Or let me just, just look at your face. Yeah, no, you're... Okay, yeah, you're right. Okay, alright, well... I was close, we'll say that. Okay, let me just take a moment to... Uh, I gotta type all that in. Okay, um, you have a tattoo. It starts at your left crunkle. cheek, loops around your right ear, I mean I don't know why I'm typing all this in since you don't have the tattoo, but it, it's important that I document it, especially for quality control purposes, which is why you see these two microphones here. Everyone here at the Guessing Random Things About You Corporation has the exact same setup. Um, so, yeah, I need to document that guess, even though it's wrong, to ensure it doesn't get guessed again about you, as you come here and get someone else guessing random things about you. Add the G R T A Y Corporation Incorporated Limited All Rights Reserved Copyright Trademark Infringement Will Result in Imprisonment and Stuff like that. Okay. Alright, so let me just finish typing in a description of that tattoo. Okay. Loops around your right ear. incorrect. Alright, so the last two questions were incorrect. Alright, let's try to get back on track here and make some correct guesses about you. Let me guess. Just 
shapeshift into a werewolf or some basic creature like that, you're able to shapeshift into, I guess, able to shapeshift into nothing. I was going to guess that you enjoy being buried in Margaret's garden for millennia on end. That's too easy. Oh, I know. You enjoy having your brain into various other creatures including inanimate objects for fun by Dr. Corvus Clemens and sometimes Dr. Dave in addition to that, you enjoy having your brain swapped with none other than Corvus himself. Is that correct? It is. Okay. Okay. Let me guess. Hmm. I guess next about you. guessed already. Oh, I know. You arrived here on this earth approximately, let me say, within Three to one hundred and three years ago. Is that a, a good estimate? Is that correct? It is. Okay. So you arrived on Earth, this Earth.
cyanide, no, radioactive chemicals, no, chocolate, no, rice, no, horizontal surfaces, no, inanimate objects, no. You are allergic to number two pencils. Ergo, you need to use number three pencils. Is that correct? It's somewhat correct. Oh, you're allergic to number three through number eight pencils. And you have to use number 439 and a half pencils. Okay. Traveling through rifts. To visit. Strange places. In the uncharted regions of the multiverse. intentionally. It's just how my, my analytical brain works. I'm just able to, you know, pick up the details around me and, you know, and about people. But uh, as soon as I saw you show up here, I just knew you were uh, a rift traveler. And, and well, obviously, that camera kind of gives you a way that you enjoy, like we said, going to places throughout the multiverse and, you know, documenting, photographing, sharing on social media, all the strange and creatures, both beautiful and horrific, some both at the same time. Them that you encounter, and some you have befriended, and some have wanted to make a meal out of you, but you know, they weren't able to. So, yeah. Okay, um, next guess. 
Let me guess. You have not ever had or have had. SpaghettiOs or Chef Boyardee. Is that correct? Really? You don't wish to divulge that information? Okay. Is there, let me guess, the reason that you do not wish to divulge whether or not you have ever had SpaghettiOs or Chef Boyardee is because it has been banned by the NWO and you may or may not be on the NWO's list because you may or may not have had SpaghettiOs or Chef Boyardee in the past illegally when you knew it was contraband. Is that correct? It is. Okay. Okay, so half incorrect, half correct. That's better than being completely incorrect. Okay, let me guess. Hmm. You are still waiting. return. I think you would have gotten that by now. No. Oh, I know. You are still waiting for When you 
order a Big Mac meal. You order it without any Is that correct? Okay. Next guess. Hmm. Let me guess, you have never been struck by any of the following lightning, a squirrel, a meteor, and your imaginary friend Betty, who you are currently not on good terms with. Is that correct? It is. I knew it. Okay. Next guess. Hmm. I think this next one might take some tremendous thinking power on my part. Let me just tap into the deep, dark recesses of my psyche, the, uh, the parts of my psyche dark and there's a door that's locked, the lock is rusty, I have to break it open with a, an axe, go down, it's damp and musty and there's rats, and it's a horrible, horrible place, but that's, that's where we need where we need to go right now for me to for this next guess I hope I make it out alive Guesses. Okay. Don't ever want to 
do that again. Okay, the next guess. Just give me a moment, I just saw some horrible things. Okay. I hope you're sitting down because this next guess is going to be pretty. Hope you can handle it. Let me guess. And then forgive me for what I'm about to ask you. But you like nice things. Is that correct? Or is that too much for me to ask? It's fine. Okay. So, did I guess correctly? Was was traveling into the dark recesses of my mind, the twisted, tormented place that no one should ever be exposed to or witness. It was that worth that guess that you like nice things. Okay, thank you. It's good to know it was worth it. Okay. You like nice things. Correct. Okay. Let's try to get back into a happy, peaceful place now. Shall we? Uh, just a moment. I think I left the door open and unlocked to that part of my psyche. Just a moment. Now where's the chain? And the padlock. Was that footsteps? Slimy. Where are they headed? No. Okay, uh, I think there's a visitor. I think there's a visitor loose from the deep, dark recesses of my psyche and it's somewhere in my conscious mind. I, I don't know what its plans are, but you know, I'm going to have to attend to that after this. Sorry, I... Let's, uh, let's get back on track, shall we? Okay. Let me... Yes. You suffer with minor bouts of anxiety when just a moment, let me type that in here. Minor bouts of anxiety when you are faced with change. Is that correct? It is. Okay. Well, that makes two of us. Believe me, I know what it's like. There's nothing worse than someone holding a little baggie of change right in front of your face. Dimes, nickels, you know, American foreign coins. It just fills me with anxiety. Change in a, in a baggie, it's not. It just 
you know, sets my anxiety off. So I'm glad we share that same type of fear. You're not alone. So that's not the change that you thought I was guessing that you have a fear of, anxiety of, I mean. Well, what other kind of change could there be that you might that might cause you anxiety? Huh. Changing your clothes. I never thought about that. Change of a job. Yeah, I I would agree. I, I do remember being faced with anxiety when having to apply for this job here at the Guessing Random Things About You Corporation. Change of a new environment. Mm. Yeah. I would agree with that. I remember when I first moved from the, the black hole that I grew up in and I moved, uh, got a, an apartment on a, uh, a dying sun. Quite hot. Um, you know, but y you get used to it after a while. So, okay, so you're not, you don't have anxiety when someone puts, uh, holds up coins in your face. But you do have anxiety with change in regards to job, uh, living, you know, residence, etc. Okay, let me update that guess here. Okay, well, we still do have something in common, after all, in regards to that type of change, except for the other type of change. You don't have any anxiety when people hold up change, you know, coins, assorted coins that are out of order, different sizes should be placed in a container, in each one in their own spot, not just jumbled together haphazardly. That doesn't bother you. Okay, all right. Let me guess. Can I guess about you next? Let me guess. You are able to sprout wings on command and fly high into the sky, free like a bird, and travel anywhere you want when you don't feel like traveling through a rift using your legs. And you love being able to look down at the, at the distant landscape and just be free like a bird. You just want to fly away. No, you, you can't sprout wings on command. Are you sure? Is this another one of these, you know, I'm wrong. I mean, I'm obviously right, but you're trying to say I'm wrong, like how I was with the tattoo, which Okay, I'll admit I was wrong about that, but... I, mean, I was right. Those are some nice wings. Wow, you can sprout them on command. Are they like hawk wings? Eagle wings. Okay. Alright, yeah, you, you, you can put them away now if you like. So I was correct. Okay. 
you are able to sprout wings on command. Eagle wings. Okay, next question. Let me guess. You enjoy going on a psychopathic murdering sprees late at night in a disguise that no one will recognize you in, which you discard each and every time the bodies are buried. Well, no one will ever know where they are. Isn't that correct? Uh, let me guess. Um, hmm. No, that wasn't correct. What wasn't correct? Hmm. I, I'm pretty sure I, I didn't freak out right now and change my voice and ask you if you're, if you go on a, a what did you say, a psychopathic murdering spree? <laughs> okay. Maybe there's some strange interference here or, or something, but wait a minute, there was something that did escape from my deep psyche. Maybe it took momentarily control of my conscious mind and force me to reveal a, a hidden secret about myself in the form of a guess about you. No. No, I... No, I am an upstanding tax-paying citizen. I have a, a wife and son. Uh, the trips that I take, I go out to photograph wildlife. Um, rarely am I ever um, out of my house past midnight. Um, at least to my knowledge. Okay. Anyway, let's not, um, you know, what's the word? Let's not, um, not, um, into such things, not cater to, um, permit, allow, uh, let's not, something like that, those types of thoughts and questions, okay, uh, next guess, um, let me guess, oh, I know, You are wondering whether or not there will be an Arthur Harrow roleplay video based on the Moon Knight series on the Disney streaming service thing. Is that correct? It is. Okay. Alright. Next guess. Hmm. Will there be an Arthur Harrow roleplay video? Remember, uh, these guesses aren't about me, so I'm unable to answer in kind. But I will say that there may or there may not be an Arthur Harrow roleplay video. Does that answer your guess about me. 
okay, not really, but kind of at the same time, right? All right, next, guess. Let me guess. You are wondering whether or not there will be any Is that correct? It is. Okay. All right. Well, my friend, that is going to do it. It's a pleasure to see you, as always. And take care of yourself. Stay safe. Stay well. And... I wish you nothing but the best, my best, that I can currently offer, which is a little, just a smidgen above mediocre. So, all right, so take care, and well, if you'll excuse me, I need to get ready for the next customer. Okay, better make a note about that partial psychotic um, breakthrough or break that occurred uh, unaware, unbeknownst to me. Maybe I should reach out to my psychologist or psychiatrist. or psychiatrist, so I'll just send this email, this message to myself. Yeah, I'll send it to myself. I'll read it and form of self-therapy. list while we're here. Bread. 
milk, eggs, You're still here. <laughs> Let me guess. You're going to remain here until the video fades out and ends. Is that correct? It is. Okay. I just remembered, I'm not sure if we ever, if I ever said anything in this video to warrant the use of the exclamation point. Maybe I did, but why don't we end the video with a statement and we'll say, something here. I can say, I can end in an exclamation point. I hope you have a splintastic now. Okay. Alright, so that's the exclamation point. fade out, start fading out here of the next minute as I type away.